It's been obviously a, a, a big moment getting your first UFC win. So uh, give me an idea. What's, what's the emotion like for you right now? I'm very happy, man. I'm very happy because this was exactly the way I wanted to start in the UFC. And uh, I think it's just the beginning, you know. This is just a little part of me, a version that I worked very hard the past months. But I know that I have a, a great future coming up. I know you were disappointed in your debut, obviously. Can you put your finger on what the difference was between that night and this night? Um, I think I believe a lot in my game in this fight. And uh, I guess the last fight, of course, I don't want to lose and no one wants to lose, but it definitely helped me a lot to like think about what I was doing and try to change a lot of aspects on, on my game. So uh, yes, definitely I believe more in this. I trained very hard different aspects of the fight in the, in the ground. Uh, everything striking with master, so yes. I was going to say, we kind of first got to know you because of your high kicks, right? And tonight it's jiu-jitsu. Do you feel like maybe people have the wrong idea about who you are as a fighter and, and what your style actually is? Totally. I, I think every fighter wants to surprise everyone. And not only the kicks, not only jiu-jitsu. And it doesn't mean I'm not going to finish again a fight with a high kick, but I just want to reinvent and like do my game better every time. And like I said before, just surprise everyone in each fight. That's right, so the last thing for me. What do you want to do now? I mean, now that you have the first USC win, what, what do you see? Do you want to fight again before the year is over? Do you see dates or, or locations that the USC is going? What, what's next for you? I just want to go back to the gym, uh, work on a lot of things I saw in this fight, and well, whenever I can fight again, I will. Sabine, I don't know if you know this, but you tied the UFC record, uh, second uh, most dominant uh, you know, decision win in UFC history with Khabib and Edson Barbosa. Are you aware of that? Uh, I didn't know. Yeah, and for the scorecards. Uh, you know, how, how does that feel, you know, getting those wins and then also making them in UFC history uh, second most dominant UFC win? You, you know, it gives me a lot of motivation and, um, and I know how better I can be, so for sure it's something that gives me like this fire to, to keep training. Were you surprised you couldn't finish her? There was a few sequences towards the end where it looked like you were going to put her out, the ref was going to stop in. Were you surprised that she survived that? She was a tough fighter. She is a tough fighter. And we, I kind of knew, my corner knew, everyone, we were aware of that. She's strong, she had cardio. So uh, she's a warrior, you know, and, and I knew that from the beginning and I saw some opportunities that I could finish and that's why I want to work on this aspect that I can dominate and not only dominate but finish whenever I can. You seem very comfortable in there tonight. How much did that, was that the fact that this is in California, which is kind of your new adopted home? Uh, were you feeling the crowd in there? Uh, yeah, it was it was very cool to fight in my hometown, uh, my second hometown. So uh, it felt comfortable. But I am a true believer that you can put work wherever it is in the world. So yeah. there's not too many girls in the flyweight division. Is there anybody you have your eye on for who could be next, or do you want a little bit of time off before the year? I just want to climb up to the belt, you know. And whoever it is in the list, I'll go up. I'm not looking towards just one person. How much did you work on that between your debut and now? Uh, so I always work round, you know. I think a lot of people think I'm just like a striker. Uh, but my jiu-jitsu has been since the beginning. I started with jiu-jitsu, with boxing. So uh, for sure, I was training jiu-jitsu with Ricardo this side. But um, it's been work from years, not only after my debut. Increíble, se siente demasiado bien y, y lo, lo mejor de todo esto es como representar a Latinoamérica, a, a las mujeres también, a Latinoamérica, a Colombia y abrir como paso a todos los que siguen porque cada vez demostramos muchísimo talento, las peleas excelentes de latinos, entonces me, me es un orgullo pues, estar entre esos latinos que están, estamos representando aquí. Yes, uh, so for me it's like an honor to be part of uh, not only representing Colombia but Latin America. I see a lot of talent and great fights. You all see like Latin American fighters given best fights ever, best fights of the night. So for me it's just an honor, you know, to represent that blood and, and I do, don't see it only as Colombia but as Latin America and also as a woman. I feel we, we are slipping up there and giving the best we can. Eh, yo siento que uno siempre tiene que estar en alerta, no tanto como en peligro, pero sí alerta. Y, y es una pelea y solo se necesita un golpe para finalizar una pelea. Entonces, 
siempre tuve mis ojos abiertos, sabía el potencial, la fuerza que ya tiene, pero en ningún momento sentí duda de que yo merecía estar ahí, merecía la victoria. ¿Por qué la pierna izquierda? ¿Era, era parte de la estrategia o encontraste el hueco con pierna izquierda? Eh, siento que encontré el hueco y bueno, también trabajamos mucho porque sé que tenía una buena, tiene una buena mano derecha. Entonces, también es parte como de analizar en el momento y, y estrategia de, de todo el equipo. ¿Cómo quieres finalizar el año una pelea? Si es posible, sí. Gracias. Thank you very much, guys. Gracias. Yeah.